What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it, you guys are awesome. So on today's very exclusive video, we're gonna compare wireless routers to wireless access points. We're gonna compare and contrast. We're gonna take a look at the differences and similarities. We're gonna explain what each one does in detail, and then we're gonna help you determine which one is right for you in your current situation. So it could be a wireless router, or maybe a wireless access point, or maybe both. But after watching this video, you'll have all the correct information to make the right decision. So without further ado, let's get started. And guys, don't forget, hit subscribe, it's free. So what are the differences between a WAP, wireless access point, and a router? Some people have a difficult time choosing between a router or a WAP, wireless access point. And there are major differences in the functions of both of these devices. So first, a router is a network device that needs to decipher where data packets need to go. A WAP is just an alternative to wires that allow computers to connect wirelessly and provides a degree of mobility for end users. The biggest use for routers in homes and in businesses is to act as interference between the internet and private networks, which allows multiple computers to access the internet at the same time. A WAP only device cannot act in the same capacity and still needs a router for that purpose. And a router also provides advanced features when it comes to security. In a typical router has a firewall and can perform NAT, network address translation. And this helps protect the internal network from external attacks. And WAPs, wireless access points, cannot do this. For Soho routers, there are two major types, wired and wireless. A wired router relies solely on ethernet connections for interconnecting computers to form a network. And on the other hand, a wireless router still has ethernet ports, typically four, but adds a WAP to the mix a wireless access point to allow additional wireless connections. And although having a WAP integrated into your router is the most common way of doing this, there are WAPs that are not routers. And wireless extenders and wireless bridges have an access point but do not function like a router. It simply relays the data packets to another WAP with routing functions. And in the simplest of terms, these devices extend the wireless range of your network. And choosing between a wireless router and a WAP shouldn't be a difficult decision. So now the big question is, what should you choose for your network? Wireless router, WAP, or both? Well, before we get into that, let me summarize what a WAP is, what a WAP isn't. A WAP cannot provide internet access, while a router can. A wireless router provides internet access, provides DHCP, provides NAT, and a host of security protocols, including a firewall. A WAP does not. While most routers do have a WAP that's integrated into them, there are some routers that do not. And that would be a great time to install a WAP in your house. It's an easy connection. Run an ethernet cable from the router to the WAP. It's that easy. And yes, you can have more than one WAP in your house. You can have multiple WAPs. So which network device is right for your home? Well, this all depends on the size of your house and how many users you have. If you live in a small home with only a few users, a wireless router works perfect. You'll have a wireless signal throughout the house with an additional four LAN ports. Now, if you have a large home, maybe a two-story house with a huge family, a wireless router may work, but you may want to add an access point. And adding a wireless access point is not difficult. And the best location for a WAP is in the center of your house on the ceiling. You can attach WAPs to the wall, but I recommend the ceiling for the best coverage. And can you have multiple access points? Absolutely. There's really no limit to access points. For instance, if you have a large two-story home, you'll have a WAP on the first floor ceiling, in the center, second floor ceiling in the center, and you'll also have your wireless router as well. And this would give you three access points, which should be plenty. So guys, I hope you learned a lot today about wireless access points and wireless routers and the differences between them. And I know this video will help you decide what to get for your home. And remember, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, I answer all questions. Because here at Ultimate Tech Hub, we're here to help you. And once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. And remember, if you like this video, Give a thumbs up and share it. If you're loving it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.